Hello everyone, this is Serenis here, back with my 11th installment of the Champion High Free for August Season Gameplays today guys. Now I'm very excited to release this one today guys after a very intense uh, Plaza Free for All from the previous episode. Got an even more intense Overgrowth Free for All right here against very good players. And uh, since this is the first time we've seen Overgrowth on my channel uh, for this season, I'm going to comment on the um, obviously initial spawns and you know a general sort of map strategy for this map. And I've shown you all the players right here. So I've matched up against School NK, who's a really good um, Halo player from Germany. And, uh, you know, he's very good on Halo 3 and Halo 3 MCC. And, uh, you know, I knew that he was a good player. So really going into this game, I knew I was going to have a bit of a challenge on my hands. And uh, he is pretty good. So um, also matching against Fusil with Diesel was pretty decent in this gameplay. And EU Razory. So I'm just going to show you the spawns here briefly, guys. Um, so two players at Camouflage, one player in top mid. There's also going to be a player spawning, um, I believe, in uh, Sword, which we're going to see in a minute. So this spawn here uh, near the Light Rifle. And uh, one player spawning on the BR, which is me for this game, and also a player in Yard, as we can see here. So those are all the um, sort of spawns for this map. Now, they may sort of rotate. Um, I actually don't have, I don't think I play over both again in this season because um, I think the wins that maybe I got, or I, I don't know if I actually won this map in the map quite a lot to be honest. Um, I might have had a lot of second place on it, I can't really remember to be honest, but it's very much like a run and gun map to be honest. It's very much just like, you know, as I've said before, you know, go to where you hear noise on the map, go to where you can sort of hear, you know, things happening, um, go to areas where you think it's going to be an important time to set up for a particular, you know, power up in case of this map, it's camouflage. And also, you know, uh, having looking for fight spot middle, perhaps for when the railgun comes up. So definitely important to, you know, go for those main battle areas. The main battle areas on Overgrowth Free for All is obviously in the yard, um, in the sort of plaza area, which you can see right ahead of me, right here. This is one of the main battle locations for Overgrowth, and it's very important to visit this um, area frequently. Um, I think if you're lost on this map, it's definitely a good idea to um, occasionally just come into top mid and just wait for something to happen. Um, you know, wait till you hear gunshots or, um, you know, wait till you hear people like, you know, sort of moving around the map or, you know, something like that. Because I think if you're lost on overgrowth, uh, wandering around too much can definitely uh, not be a good thing because, you know, the other players might see you first and you just want to have the upper hand when you play this map because it's very... Um, you know, annoying for when people like hide around on this map and you know sort of crouch in top mid and stuff. So definitely going top mid and just sort of being patient and waiting for you know um, gunfire or, or something to happen on the map is definitely a good idea. Um, so definitely setting up for the camouflage is really important on this map. Unfortunately, I didn't get the initial spawn of it, but there is going to be a camo shortly and uh, should definitely make my way for that and uh, allow myself a bit of time to have actually spawned there a bit early to be honest. Still another 20 seconds, but. Definitely want to allow a bit of time to um, you know go for that, and it's just really important to grab. Railgun in this map is really important as well, and definitely if you can hold it down and use it well, it's going to really project you um, you know far, you know far into first place. So definitely getting that is um, you know a real advantage to you. And uh, this game is pretty back and forth with School and myself, so it's a really nice matchup. And uh, right here, I'm making pushes to the camouflage, managed to secure myself the rail gun. That's going to be a huge time to get that rail because the school's trying to get the camo right here. And if I can stop him getting his camo, that's going to be a really huge play. So I'm going to try and go for it again as it just comes up. I just give school NK the dirty rail gun shot right there and uh, managed to net myself the camo. Now, this was really unfortunate, this play right here. It would have been so great if I could have stayed alive. And there was opportunity for me to stay alive at this point. Um, this guy chasing me the AR does get shot by other players and I could have easily killed him there if I hadn't have missed my first rail shot and instead of trying to load up another rail there I should have beat him down so that was a bit of a choke on my part and um, obviously switching back to myself here um, so that was a bit of a choke on my part and I definitely should have had that and uh, you know the game could have been very different if I um, you know carried on with that but you know as I've said before this this game definitely shows you that free for all is all about luck there's going to be several instances of uh, myself having bad luck in this gameplay, but I am also rewarded with elements of good luck, like that initial spawn there that I got after losing the railgun. I got a really nice double kill, and then another, you know, um, kill on School NK, who was my competition in this gameplay because he's a really good player. So, um, you know, as you, as I said, guys, you know, bad luck can be rewarded with good. So, you shouldn't get too upset. I mean, I know it's hard at the time when something really annoying happens, but. Um, it definitely can turn around in free fall. It's never too late um, to, you know, obviously 
for something good to happen. So definitely, uh, you know, uh, making sure that you don't get too down on the fact of one bad bit of luck because you could be rewarded by a lot of good luck after that. So uh, definitely, um, you know, really, uh, um, you know, sort of lucky for me that I was able to get those kills. Um, so this gameplay actually, guys, whilst I've got a bit of time to talk about it, this gameplay actually took a little bit of, um, it was a little bit of a time after episode 10. Um, it was only a couple of days or maybe three days. Um, but I went to the coast with my family and I also kind of stopped playing free for all side company matters to sort out complexity and also, you know, just like playing my mates a bit more um, as opposed to like playing free for all. So I kind of stopped playing for a couple of days and since it was my first season, I wasn't aware of how much the other players would actually play and how much I would have to actually, you know, play in order to sort of, um, you know, keep my champion and um, realizing that and then seeing that I was just outside of champion by a little bit of CSR. Um, so that for this gameplay, when you see the stat screen, it is going to show Onyx. But after this gameplay and um, episode 12, I got my champion back very quickly um, because I just wasn't aware of how much actually people grind on this game. I mean, actually in the first few days of this season, um, people were already bridging well over 2,000 CSR. So I was quite amazed at that, um, you know, because of how much people were actually playing. And, um, you know, particularly if you win a lot in free-for-all because... Um, you know, your CSR goes up by a, a lot in the beginning, so, um, you know, when NYC was uh, champ 1 for half of this month, unfortunately he didn't maintain it, but I think he was still top 10. Um, he was just really, you know, killing it with the CSR in the beginning, and, uh, you know, really uh, was above everyone else by miles, to be honest, and then our kind of Cyrus came back at the end of the season. Um, but, you know, I just wasn't aware of how much he needed to play, so that explains the Onyx ranking for this gameplay, but if you want proof that I main you know, maintain my champion, uh, you can check that out on Halo Track if you really want to, but I did maintain it, and, uh, you know, I was proud to do that, and I'm proud of all these excellent gameplays that I acquired to do that, so that's just a heads up there. Um, they are in chronological order still, so all of the gameplays happened in the order in which I played them, so... Sorry for any confusion in the stat screen, but it was just uh, literally for one game, and then I was back into my champ. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, as I said before, guys, you know, definitely with overgrowth, it's a really good thing to go for noise on this map. Um, it's really important to, uh, you know, make sure that you're all sort of running and gunning on this map. There is no real strategy for playing this map, in my opinion. It's more, um, like this gameplay demonstrates, it's more a luck-based uh, free-for-all map, in my opinion, because. Um, if the opportunities are there on overgrowth, they're there, you know, and you're definitely going to win on this map. It's not really, you know, as, as I've said before, you know, a lot of these new maps that are made off old ones, like this is made from some of the design of Plaza, which is an original Halo 5 map. Some of these kind of like newer maps that are remade from the old ones are like, you know, there's just no sort of design element in them at all or any skill-based way of, you know, playing a setup on this map. It's just run and gun, and that's literally what it is. It's, um... Now, very much like in some ways, like a, a Call of Duty esque on Halo um, with some of the Halo 5 maps, I feel. And definitely with Plaza, and when it initially came out, I definitely felt like that with that. And, uh, you know, definitely overgrowth being sort of the son of uh, Plaza, it's definitely, you can definitely see it more. But um, I think that's why that it plays as it does. And I mean, I actually quite like overgrowth free for if I'm honest. Like I said, um, you know, I do enjoy um, these sort of run and gun free for all game types, but. Um, because of the fact that they are run and gun, it's very much like you don't need skill to hold setup on this map. It's just you know you run around and get kills. And uh, if your luck's on point and you you know you, you're making the right plays, then you're definitely going to win um, in Halo 5 free for all against you know any top players. So um, definitely you know um, that's just one thing to point out about this map. So that's why I can't really comment about you know holding a setup down on this map because technically you can't so um, it's very hard to you know to really hold anywhere on this map because there's so many lines of entry um, even camping with the railgun top mid will <laughs> probably only get you so far because someone comes soaring out of an AR so I mean it's it's just you know it's not possible on this map but some really nice plays uh, to keep the lead um, before I sort of lost it to score at the end there just a few unfortunate plays um, that last camo was really unfortunate to be taken out by that because you know, um, I don't think the guy was actually aiming for me. Um, but a word of caution with the camouflage, just like try to be careful when going front ahead of someone that might have like a railgun or a plasma caster because if they don't see you or they think they see a blur, they might just randomly fire like that. So um, that's just a heads up. And obviously, you know, next time I would definitely have to be more cautious because it could have cost me this game. And um, at this point, I'm really frantic because I really want the 
win over school because he's a really good player and uh, you know definitely wanting to win this one so um, definitely like trying to get these last few kills and um, as I said before you know um, going to top mid if you're lost is definitely a good player on this map but I heard a lot of commotion in the plaza area so that's why I moved over there and I was able to clear up a kill uh, but unfortunately school is still alive at this point and still trying to clear up things so um, at this point I know that I have to get to that yard because I can see school fighting a battle there and uh, if he's weak I definitely want to clear him up so unfortunately he has been taken out and I'm looking at, you know, looking for where that battle just ended with those players where he was taken out and able to uh, get a single kill there. I would have liked to double there because I would have equalised with school and uh, at this point I've given him another opportunity to come off his spawn and uh, you know get more kills so I definitely have to put myself back into the action and really unfortunate here you know the spawn I get here tells me that I'm you know all the way across the other side of the map and that the players are obviously fighting on the other side so the first thing I think of doing is just running through top top mid and uh, coming back into the plaza area because I know that's where everyone's fighting and uh, as you can see here if I was actually good with a pistol I would have had 24 kills and would have been a bit, you know, bit of a better position than the school for this ending part of the game again I can see that more players are clambering up in this plaza area so I run there again and uh, look to finish off the kills and uh, there you go guys, Serenis wins the game. But that was very intense towards the end against School and um, at the end here he melees me because he's annoyed that he lost and <laughs> being uploaded to Serenis vids but there you go, that's life. Um, <laughs> but guys I really hope you enjoyed this gameplay and I hope it demonstrated how Overgrow free for all plays. It's a toughie to play in free for all and does depend a lot on luck. But this was Serenis guys and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.